Hey Vikes, I'm Allie and this is SVTV. Seniors, you have two scholarship opportunities. Check Schoology for more information. Stuco is selling $10 shirts for breast cancer awareness. These will be worn at the Emporia game. FCCLA is hosting a competition to raise money for human trafficking victims. The seminar class who brings the most money in will get a prize. The last day is January 30th. If you are bringing an outside date to Snowball, forms are in the office. Sophomores and juniors, make sure you have the Mac OS High Sierra installed on your laptop. This will be used for state testing. Girls basketball plays at Topeka High tonight. The theme is blue out. Now over to Josh with the weather. Good afternoon to you. We do have some new data here into the SVTV Weather Center, and we'll give you an updated snowfall forecast coming up in just a minute. Here are your forecast headlines taking you through the weekend. Today, rain later this afternoon, changing to snow this evening. Then a windy day is ahead for Saturday and just an overall cold weekend. Bitterly cold, though, Sunday morning with temperatures down into the single digits. So let's time it out for you with our future radar. You can see here by 3 p.m., just some drizzle, maybe an isolated shower. And as we head towards 6 p.m., I think that's when the precipitation starts to increase across the area. Could be rain. This rain snow line really uncertain still at this point. For this far out, the models are not handling the system very well. Could be anywhere from say Manhattan all the way down to Topeka by 6 p.m. We'll just have to watch this closely. By 9 p.m., I do think it's probably snowing in the capital city, and that continues through about midnight. But we're still confident that by sunrise Saturday morning, any remaining snowfall is down in southeastern Kansas and Missouri. So here's our latest snowfall forecast. Actually, in just a minute, 40 to 50 mile per hour wind gusts for developing tonight and into Saturday as well. So that will create reduced visibility and lead to slick spots on the roadways just hazardous driving conditions overall, but they should improve throughout the day Saturday. Here's the model spread right now. Models showing anywhere from about 0.8 inches up to 11.7 inches. But here is humans forecasters. We can kind of narrow this down for you. We're thinking one to three inches of snow for the upcoming event tonight through the early portions of your Saturday. And now for your SCTV seven day forecast, you can see that we are looking at a high of 20 degrees on Saturday. That'll actually probably be in the morning with falling temperatures through the afternoon. Let's check out Tuesday real quick. We were keeping a slight snow chance, but the newest data has been trending this system to the north. So that's something we'll continue to fine tune over the weekend and early next week. Allie, back to you. That's all we have for today, Vikes. Have a great three-day weekend.